All right. What's up? Sorry I'm late, guys. I was getting a glass of water. You got to stay hydrated, so I'm, I'm thirsty. Yep. Um, hey, first one of the day. This guy, Vit Krejci, under 12 and a half PRAs. I'd say let's just bet it. Looks like it's at Bet MGM. Um, oh, whoops. I thought I was logged in over there. I don't know who that guy is. I guess he's playing for the Hawks. I don't know why we'd be taking under 12 and a half, but it seems like a very big edge. Um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty big. They just offered me $2.16. <laughs> All right. Whatever. Hey, well, the rule is when you get limited that bad, you take it anyways. You just yeah. say, screw you guys. I'm taking your $2. All right, so we'll track that one. If Hopefully you can bet you're 120 and you're not like me. Clint Capella over 21 and a half points plus rebounds plus assist. That is at BetMGM as well. We'll do that one. That's at ESPN as well if you want to go over there. Hang on. We'll get to talking. We got a lot to talk about. Lots to talk about. I mean, they gave me 1188 on this one. That's that's fair. Nigel, that's like five times what I got on the other one. That's math. Yep. That's just math, mathing. Um, yeah, Reese Davis. I, uh, Jeff, what did he say that was wrong? I don't. I don't understand. I don't get it um, either. He was obviously being sarcastic. Like, like you watch that and you're like, yeah, like he was. I mean, have you ever talked to someone who's bet on a game before? First thing they tell you is that there's no way they're gonna lose. That's the first thing, like, or, or when, or when your buddy explained to pick to you, you're like, dude, that is genius. He was just a victim of the no fun police, which are getting really tiresome. I thought we were sort of past the era of the no fun police, but they always come roaring back every time. I thought that they went away. Like, I totally get that you can't be false advertising. Like, like you know what I'm saying? Here, Cam Thomas under four and a half at rebounds, minus one twenty five at Betham Gym. I don't know why we're betting this one. Again, no fundamental analysis whatsoever on this show. It's all technical. They gave me 27 on this. That's cool. But uh, it looks like every other book on this planet Earth has this thing like way priced differently. They've got 170, 172, 163, 150, 150. Where are the other? 150 there. I mean, and then... Here comes BetMGM at minus 125. You just take that, right? Like, you know, there's no reason to even think about that. Who knows? Dude, the ball could bounce to this guy five times tonight easily, right? Or it could never bounce his way once on a rebound. Like, he's a guard. They're already moving away a lot of times. Ugh, so they're not really responsible for rebounds. But I, I don't know how you really price rebounds and stuff like that. But whatever. The books do it, and this book really, really, really priced it differently than every other book on the planet. Slop, I got limited by Bet Rivers today on a. They had Jokic under seven and a half assists at plus one seventy five, and the rest of the market had plus one twenty. And I tried to bet twenty five dollars on it, and they limited me to nine dollars twenty eight cents. That's how they roll, man. That's Bet Rivers for you. Yeah, they'll limit you. Well, I took it all their money over the weekend, so I kind of been watching the market all day. Like kind of capping my own, seeing what I think, you know what I mean? And man, there's gonna be some good stuff tonight. I can just already feel it. We're in that time of the year where it's like I don't want to call it bum season because that these guys don't deserve to be called bums. I mean, they're still professional athletes, but man, these dudes that are gonna be coming up are just they're just not great. They're just you know not I mean? NBA players. No, and, but they're going to be getting big minutes, and they're good enough to produce. They're just not as efficient as other other players. But yeah. if you give you know certain guards that are going to take fifteen shots, and if you give him a line of ten and a half, he's going to clear that. It's not going to be pretty, but you know whatever doesn't matter. All right, so oh, here's your boy, Derek White over twenty five and a half PRAs. We're supposed to bet a buck thirty on that. They would net. They will not let me do that. But I'm taking it. Oh, ten dollars and eighty cents. That'll show up on my picket later. Good call, Super Sit Rep. Dinger Tuesday is coming, and we're gonna have the Parlay Builder to build some dingers. 
I know. We're going to use the Parlay Builder later on. I really should tease this show more, but I, I just want to talk to the fellas and the ladies. Sorry, ladies that are in here, Paula and Christy. I don't think I've ever seen another girl in here other than Paula and Christy, but thank you both of you. And if there <laughs> are some hiding, you're cool too. Yeah, but they may not talk, but they're there. We here. don't have a name here. No. Or what do you, is it gender shame? Is it sexually, yeah. do they call it sex anymore? Are you allowed to call it that? I think no. I think that's a no. I don't think they anymore. call it sex. Yeah. I think they call it yeah. just gender. I don't get that. Like why we just change what we call stuff. Well, I think sex is the way you were born now, and then gender is whatever you feel like you are. Okay. Which, I, I mean, I I guess I feel like a dude. I'm yeah. like, I'm a boy. Cause... So you, you, your sex is male, and your gender is also male. Okay. That's cool. That's what I guessed. Uh, that's what I had. Um... What else? Oh, the tracker. Man, we got demolished two days last week. And it really put a damper in the, uh, what do you call it? But we're up 245 for the month. Hit a buck 64 on Friday. We hit a parlay from the parlay builder. That was good. <laughs> I identify as a winning better. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I got to look all that up. I don't really get all the nuance of um, genders these days. Hey, I'll call you whatever you want to be called. I don't mind. Just let me know. Yeah, I don't – me too. I don't really – if you – that's what you want, man. Like, yeah. whatever, man. Cool. Or Have one. a great time. It's just don't be mad if I don't call it to you right off the bat. That's all I'm saying. Just give me give me some time here. Yeah. No, so I don't, sometimes I, I'm not great at picking up, like, signs. No. I mean, you got Danny out of his name, like – Right, five times today. Jeff noticed. I was shocked. I know. So you're getting better. I've been, I've been practicing. That's names, though. That's not like guessing genders. Like that's tough. Like as names, like you're pretty sure you want to pronounce it right. You know what I mean? But gender, like you're pretty sure you got it right. You know what I'm trying to say? It's different. It's different. That's all I'm saying. It just takes a little bit of nuance, and we're gonna all get there, I'm sure. Somehow. Anyways, that's not even what this is about. We um yeah I went through that bets we we won a hundred something dollars last uh Friday nothing over the weekend obviously I still can't get to weekend streams man like the the kids are they're moving into soccer now and soccer is generally in the mornings but there are some noon games so that's gonna be rough in the in the spring it'll be fine though I think maybe Saturday evening Sunday evening stuff well it won't work on Sundays for baseball season. But in the spring, we have basketball, right? It's like maybe there yeah. could be Sunday evening and Saturday. That's all I'm saying. Maybe. I mean, we have basketball technically through June, although I guess yeah. once you get to the well, finals, I mean, there's not many games. I would say until May we have basketball. Yeah, because when it gets to the conference finals, you're not playing every day. No, it's it's baseball season at that point. Everybody knows it, and it's kind of weird. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, though? Yeah. Like where you're like, oh, basketball. You're like, dude, there's no game for the next two days. Like, we're betting baseball. Like, we're baseball betters at this point. And we're going to be big Olympic betters. I've been on this with Slop like for the last four months. No, Olympics in me. July, or is it August? I'll maybe. Do it. <laughs> we're going to be it up for it months in advance. How about that? Is that fair? No, I understand. But once you're like into baseball season and you want something else, the Olympics yeah. are going to be no. like. Oh. Be like a oh, I'm with you. I'm desert. not saying I won't be into it. I'm more saying just like right today, it's so hard to be like, man, can't wait for that Olympic basketball. Like I need to be deprived of everything but baseball, and then I'll be like, all right, yeah, let's get that. Olympic I'm not basketball. even talking about basketball. I'm talking about like track and field, swimming. We're gonna have it all. Bet on that shit, dude. Oh, we almost got Terrence Man right there. Are we watching this, guys? If you don't have this, like to follow along at home, it's gonna be tough sometimes on the stream. But, dude, it's free for two weeks. Free. Like, free, free. Like, you sign up for it, and it's free for two weeks. Uh, link in the description, promo code SLOP. You're going to get access to the EV tool. And what's kind of my new favorite, I, me and Nigel have talked to um, engineering, the parlay builder. We're going to make it even better. It's, I mean, it already hit the last, I don't even know how many it hit. I hit one yesterday with it. Trying to think the 
oh, I had two on the same day. One of the, one bet, one out of the six bets lost. I'm telling you, dude. I don't know what's going on, but the um, the parlay builders legit. You know what change I was thinking of, Slop? We should instead of putting the odds, we should just change that to you put how much you want to bet, and then you put how much you want to win. So then it'll okay. just do it. It'll do the math for you on it. I think that would be cooler because mm-hmm. I could put a million dollars and just get an yeah, insane funny, parlay. Yep. I think we should do a, a nice little lotto tonight. Because if you didn't see the video earlier today, there's a um, a, what do you call it? Bankroll builder, I guess. I mean, it's plus four hundred, so it's not totally it's safe. A- parlay is what we call it on this show, Slop. Safe parlay. Yeah, it's a safe parlay. Safe parlay. Um, yeah. So there's that. Like, I don't really love this Josh Hart nonsense. I got his over PRAs. At a good I mean, price. we could take this. The rebounds, assists, 16 and a half, though, is kind of jumping the shark on him. I mean, that's... Did you see he had 12 know, rebounds on Saturday? I know there, it's like there's no fundamental analysis here, but like the Pistons are playing nobody. Like nobody's playing basketball for them anymore. So, and then the Knicks. But I mean, the Knicks play a tight rotation. Out, maybe, maybe he plays them for a very long time, but it just feels so weird. I don't even know this guy was on the Hornets. I thought he was on the – isn't he on the – He's on the Cavs. He's on the Cavs. Oh, he's on the Cavs, yeah. All right, let's go with him. George – what's his name? Niang. Okay. Matt. Handle over three and a half rebounds. I mean, he's playing the Hornets. There's no chance those dudes rebound. I mean, four times, that's it. Four boards. He's from Lawrence Slop. I, I know. I, I looked him up the other day. So I was like, who the hell is this guy? But I had him as a 76er. I think he was on the 76er. Yeah. Yeah, I just kind of like kept him there, like in my brain. Yeah, him playing behind... Mobley kind of helps us now. Mobley's back, but he's going to go to the bench. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm actually going to bet that. Hopefully it's plus one. What did it say? A hundred bucks? Yeah. Fuck, man. I'm going to have like two grand out again. Uh, It's down to minus minus 102 again. All right. I just want to save some money for like before lock. We got Mexico. So I got to eat that, and then right after that, I should be able to hit the button for a little bit longer. I saw a crazy stat, Georgie. He's like the winningest player in the NBA since like 2020 because he's played for Utah, Philly, and now Cleveland. 69 people in here. Hey, guys, will you do me a favor? Like the stream. Restivo is going to show up in here, and he's going to be like, dude, how come no one likes this shit? And I'm going to be like, dude, I don't know, man. Like, I told him to. But, I mean, these guys, you guys are all your own people. You know what I mean? That's how you know it works, Matthew, Russell. Russell's my guy, by the way, just so you all know. Do um, you know what I'm saying? Like, they just, once you find one and it just gets nuked like that, you just know, you're like, dude, we are working with some powerful shit right here. Like, think about it, though. Like, when you really think about it, it's kind of crazy, Right? Like a big ass sports book, like FanDuel, you sneak one in, and then right after it, like the odds aren't even remotely the same. You're just like, wow, like did I just do that? And the answer is no, it was on stream, but it feels like you did. What do you think, this guy Holmes, Recon Holmes? Oh, it's already Recon. My <laughs> Rashawn. Him too. <laughs> It's funny because me and Jeff are literally have a conversation in the chat about you mispronouncing names. I mean, dude, come on, man. Like, how many? What's his name? Rashawn. Yeah. How he spells that? Like, like, what does that even say? <laughs> like, also too. Like, in no offense to him, but like, you're coming from a guy named John. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So, like, I'm. I don't. I can't relate. Although my last name back in school got really messed up, like all the time by every teacher. Hislop, probably. High slip, his slip. Slip? High slope. No yeah, dude. All, I was like, dude, that's an O. Like, aren't you a teacher? 
Like, you can't even read? Like, I mean, in, in their defense, they were teachers in Florida, but still. Sean, you're giving me credit. You should be giving Odd Jam credit. That has nothing to do with me. But thank you. Yeah, I would take it, though. But thank you, Sean. I would take the credit. Wimbenyama? He actually can do Wimbenyama, Jeff. It's funny. It's Wimby. like not an easy name. Wimby is what we call him in the in this house. My daughter has a bunch of his rookie cards. Like she likes collecting basketball cards, like my youngest. Ooh, so like keep she, those in good like, condition. Yeah, it's all I grab her right away. We got her the uh, plastic sleeves. It's like, dude, when you pull one of these, put put please put it in there. You put that in a frame. Don't let anyone yeah, touch you, that. You might want a car one day. Maybe this guy <laughs> helped get it. I don't know. Ooh, hard under 29 and a half PRAs. We're to that we're to that time of the day, Nigel. Oh, I have it over 29 and a half PRAs. I plus, think it's going over. Plus 112. It's what no else longer we got? PV though. Um yo, Joel, I think tonight's the night, dude. No more being pours. No more being pours. What's that, guys? Nick, NFT Nick. We're going to choose Rich. You guys see him on Twitter? You've seen him, Nigel? Yeah, I've seen him. The crypto guy, dude, he's a psychopath, bro. But I laugh every time. All his videos, I always watch all his videos when they come out. The morning haters always gets me every time. Like the way he says it, you know, it's, it's, he's funny. Like, I don't know what he's selling, or what, like, like, but it, I just watch anyways. We want this guy, Keon Ellis. Fuck, I'll do that, dude. Which team does he play for? The Kings. Um, um, yeah, Keon Ellis, over six and a half points, even money at Fanatics. Yeah, community notes gets him all the time because he always says he has his helipad or you know whatever. He said that one girl asked him on a date or some shit. But uh, yeah, community notes always gets him. He's got guys now though. They 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 go to battle for him. I did the oh I got your back, Daniel. Well, but you guys want to do a three leg real quick? Looks like we pretty much covered this board. I've got uh, Jared Allen over um, PRAs tonight. I think he it might be like a 2020 night for that dude. Because that coach was so pissed about what they did against Miami that I bet you they come out and just demolish, like demolish um, the Hornets. Um, well, that well, means – well, go ahead. I was saying, can I give one out real quick? Grady Dick yeah, over, yeah, hurry up, hurry up. Grady Dick over 14 and a half points at Bet Rivers plus 114. That's an 8% edge. Sorry. No, that's insane, dude. I kind of I like Grady Dick. Um, what's the explanation point next to the prop category mean? That means we have conflicting bets. We have bets on the same market already. Game. So there you go. So when you click it, bang. Now, the hardest part about all this for most of us, I, I, I think we're probably all the same type of guys, is the fact that we are just randomly betting, like, bets on, you know what I'm saying? Like, where it's like, we, we probably have fundamental analysis on a lot of that. <laughs> nice work, Bobby Big Wheels. But we have fundamental analysis on all this. There is zero fundamental analysis that goes into this, which is kind of cool on days you really don't have time to cap. Because you can just come in here and just find edges in the market because, I mean, you're using the sportsbook's data literally against them. So there is that. But, yeah, it's tough sometimes when you're just like, hey, take uh, take Dame Lillard's under in threes tonight. I did that yesterday. You saw that, Nigel? I did. And I was like, man, I don't really want to do this. but I didn't. It was on my board and I wanted to, but I couldn't pull the trigger. <laughs> yeah, every button, every, every book says – you know, whatever to do it or, you know, I'm saying that it, it was like minus 140 or minus 150 everywhere. And then minus 120, I think somewhere. Bet MGM probably. They're way behind, like always. Speaking What's of up way, with 
Go ahead. I was going to say, speaking of weighing behind, Kobe White over 30 and a half PRA plus 120 at Bet Rivers, four percentage if you guys want it. Sweet. Um, sides for CBB not using the EV page. Um, Brian, that's a great question. You know what I've been doing with that? I didn't use the EV page. I had the screen, and then I would wait for the games to start. I got North Carolina like this the other night where Michigan State kind of went out. like So North Carolina, let's say they were minus three and a half at FanDuel. Everywhere else, they're four and a half. So I was like, all right, cool. If Michigan State jumps out to a lead, which I think they could, then – We'll just hang – I'll hang around FanDuel. I'll have that open, and I'll wait. So they jumped out to a lead. I got them at minus one and a half. They then proceeded to get their teeth kicked in for the next two or three minutes, and you could have gotten plus three and a half. But but the screens had you – the screen kind of lets you know where the best place is. So that's why I had that open. But, uh, but yeah, that's how I do college basketball sides and totals. It, I can't really find them. Like we we were doing it the other day. They were tough to find on the on the EV page, but that's because the books all move kind of together. The easiest way to find them was to find them when they first came out, because they were all over the board, like literally all over the EV tool. Jeff, mm-hmm. the leader of the bracket challenge right now is someone called Main Bracket. He's got Arizona winning. Nice. He's in the 99.4 percentile. He's actually tied with uh, March Money, who has Carolina winning it all. That's wild. All right, you guys want to do Siakam under 34.5 PRAs? I'll do it. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Minus 120 at Fanatics. Let's look at the – whatchamacallit, though? event page i hope i hope other people are at like a higher number for him oh i'm sorry i hope it's the, that's the highest number yeah yeah so everybody else is at like 33 and a half we just got the same price for 34 and a half that's being offered at bodog in bovada that online has minus 130 for one one less so that's good that's real good. Pinnacle kind of believes in him. Don't love that. Yeah, he has been grabbing boards. But again, it's dude, we're looking at 34 and a half. So, I mean, we got some wiggle room. Like, we definitely have wiggle room there. And they disappeared. I think they probably went to a different number. You want to go back to Zach Collins? That's probably what got me banned that day. Yep. They were like, yeah, buddy. We are not have Like, they were way off. Yeah, they knew immediately you were using uh, Jim. They knew I was a user? Yep. <laughs> um, I'll do Keontae George, six assist. That is plus... Our six plus over five and a half six plus that's uh plus one sixteen at FanDuel. I would hurry up. That will not be there in like five minutes. Slop, how Come about on. this over in the Memphis Denver game at Bet MGM? Plus one twenty five. FanDuel just moved off of plus one twenty to plus one oh six four minutes ago. Might be worth a grab. It's at the top of your board, right? Yeah, right there. Over 217 and a half, Grizzlies Nuggets. And the 215 and a half. That's the one I got. Oh, yours doesn't show that one. That's weird. I had 211. I have 215 and 217. They're both at the top of my board. Did you refresh? Yep. I'm always refreshed. A Colin. Yeah, 211. I mean, if you guys want to do a main market, I get all that, Joel. I mean, you're right. Pace, number shots, all that stuff. But, man, I'll be honest with you. I just like to hit the button. 
I'll do that stuff in the morning to get an idea, though. I just want to know who's going to play. And that comes later on in the day. But what you're doing is, like, right. Like, you get, like, the kind of game you think is going to play out and then just be ready later on for all the injuries. Because, like, some random guy is going to be playing for a lot of teams for the next two for, Well, next month. Less than a month, really. The next three weeks. This is cleanup time. We have to – we got to step up. I've been kind of liking betting these unders. Like, I don't hate it. I don't like – I still don't like watching it, though. That's my biggest problem with the unders. I don't want to watch it. All right, you guys want to go ahead and make this uh, three-legger real quick? All right, so if you got Odds Jam, I'll show you where it is. It's right here, Parlay Builder. That is – that's that's where it's at. Here, hang on. Let me tell the people we're making a parlay now. You got anything? I'm looking right now. I was just telling Brian that, oh, yeah, I'm – Limited on Bet Rivers, but my bankroll is so small, like I rarely bet more than twenty dollars on any prop. So it's when yeah, I go well, over twenty and it's like way off that they'll limit me. Here you go, Kelly Oubre Jr. under twenty four and a half PRA plus one fourteen at Bet Rivers. Uh, no big odds or plus one hundred six. Caesars has wow. it at minus one ten. Dude, Vandal. Jeff. Dude, the picture you just sent me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it should be, Brian. There's nothing different about it being baseball. Like, if all the books are pricing all the markets, there's going to be screw-ups. The sport is irrelevant. Did you guys see my war with uh, ESPN box score this weekend when they uh... – Counted, uh, was his name Joplin? They gave him a rebound for a jump ball. I was sitting there. I'm sitting there in my room, just getting mad at nobody. That's awesome. Yeah, I, I didn't really see it though, but yeah, it's the weird rebound. Yeah, it was a jump ball, and ESPN said it five rebounds. And the odds jam bet tracker must use ESPN's stat lines box score because it was saying the bet lost. But fortunately, Bet Rivers, I, I assume they used the actual NCAA box score, so they graded it as a win. So in the end, it wasn't a big issue, but I was sitting there all pissed. I'm like, this is not a rebound. <laughs> Just passing that along for the bowling group chat. All right. We ready? All right, so we're at the Parlay Builder. And then... I'm going to say let's go three legs. You guys want to go at FanDuel? C-Rod, what's up? So we'll go at FanDuel. We're going to work on getting this to just be like you can toggle between like main market, player props, stuff like that. Like what kind of bet you want to throw in here. But um, might as well be... I don't know, having plus EV moves in your parlay. The thing I like about this is it can tell you, hey, do you want a bankroll builder? Or do you want a lotto? <laughs> I mean, what do you think? It's just going to be first baskets if you go that high. And only three legs. If you're going to go that high, you should put more legs. You'll get like a more viral. Tyree, line. what's up, bro? You guys want to do the same game? Same game lotto. I don't think it's gonna be first basket if it's in here. Ah, there's a there's one first basket. Ah, oh, then the Hornets play. They get wild. Your screen froze. I there, think it's your software. My there, screen's working it's, fine. It's back now. It's crazy. I don't know actually. Super set ref. I meant to ask. Have you asked anyone slop? What does best parlay do? Um. Oh, if it's just the best one. You like how I answered that? Like, I literally just said what you said right back to me. 
So you don't know is the answer. Correct. Okay. We'll find out, Super Sit Rep. Um, let's, let's take off best parlay. Let's just get until we get three player props. How about that? You guys cool with that? We have to add a tab for market. That's one thing we should bring up. No, that's what I said. Oh, I missed We that. toggle between like what types of bet we want. Because we're going to need that for baseball season when we just want home runs. Oh, we were almost there. I don't know if I'm doing Porzingis two and a half blocks. I mean, I would if the button told me to. We got to move it down until we're almost there. No, when someone asks you a question, you just repeat the words that they just said to you, but not in a question. <laughs> and a lot of times it works. They're like, oh. You know what I'm saying, Nigel? If you say it confidently enough, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, obviously, confidently enough. All right, I'm moving it down just to make sure. Unless you guys want to try this, I'm not doing an under in the Jazz. But no, there's no defense in those games. Oh, man, we're right there. We just need three player props, and we're in. I'll hit the button all damn day. I don't care. Yeah, I know. It has the logo of the guy that you're not betting on. It's like, what is this? All right. Do you think this is it? It looks like it. I mean, it. this is a bold move, dude. Well, Durant under, if that's a blowout, that could easily go under, right? If he doesn't play the fourth quarter or even most of the third. Yeah. Do we really want to do a Durant 18 18- Well, she's a seven percent of Frank. That's crazy. If, if they put Wemby on him, I don't think it's going to be that easy. Wemby ain't going to play. Oh, so that's a problem. Well, then it's going to even. It could be a blowout at halftime. Chat, we want to do this. Yo, Anthony, what's up, bro? I mean, you're doing plus four to forty two hundred. You're going to have to take some risks. All right. What if uh, we're doing plus three thousand? How much risk do we have then? I'm not doing that. It's too much hater for me. We'll get there, guys. We'll get there. We're, we're learning how to use the shit, too. Oh, man, we were right there. Honestly, I think – oh, no, my bad, under 47. If it was just the Pistons under – yeah, that's what I'm saying. That was way too big of a butt squeezer to be – you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. what are we doing with our lives? I would do this. I say, let's go. This is the one. Because the Pistons have no one playing basketball for them right now. And the Knicks play slow. That could, they might not screw. They might, it might be like 42, or I'm sorry, like 42 points in that second quarter. It could be a low, low, low one. You in? Sure. 25 gets its 870. That's a no, lot of I, points in rebounds is, for but, Aiton. What's up? That's a big number for Aiton. Not really. Have you seen what he's been doing lately? No, I'll be honest. Dude, watch, watch this. Check out this game log. These won't move as fast, so we have that going for us. I mean, it could be a beating, but, like, maybe not. Like, all right, he's coming off an 8-7 and seven game, which is good. 25-15, and 28-31-14, and 33-19, and 22-15, and 30-19. And okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, he ain't no slouch. And he's playing Houston, who has nobody. But they've been really field. good lately. They're 10-1 in the last 11. No, they have no one playing center for them right now. Who, who does play center? Zero people. Zero people. Jabari Smith plays center for them right now. Got they have it. no answer for Aiden. Like zero. All they gotta do is keep it close enough. And I can hit it again. The good thing about Aiden is because he'll no show for certain games, you'll know in the first quarter if that has zero chance. Yeah. Like you won't swear. Yeah, I mean 
All right. Do we want to do it? Yeah. See what I'm saying, man? Like, I don't know who's going to be covering the man in this, the paint. I'm not saying that, that the trailer is going to win. I'm not saying any of that. I'm just saying, like, I think that that could work, dude. Don't click bet now. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. So we're in. Legacy rebound game for Gary Trent Jr., Bobby Big Wheels. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> six boards. <laughs> fucking... But it, here's the other thing with them is who's playing for them? I have no idea. Like, that team's – like, they are – Look, wait till you see who they trot out there tonight. It's like, all randos. Like, usually there's, like, a couple randos. You know what I mean? But there's all randos. All right, I'd say we do it. And the Pistons, nobody's playing for them. So the Knicks, they play all that that trash basketball anyways. Slow, they, they D up. No one scores. I don't know. I think we do it. Shit, we can do another one if we want. Watch this. I was noticing we just got to find a sweet spot. I think that's the key to this one. Oh, we were right there. Well, the slop, key to this, what? I was saying while you're clicking it, Fred Van Fleet over 31 and a half PRAs plus 108 at Bet Rivers. It's even money, no big. I don't want the first round spit. There it is. Oh, for all you guys that were hating on Aiden, this one's perfect for you guys. It's a hedge parlay. Look at that. Devin Booker over 35 and a half points plus rebounds. Nobody does that for him. Ooh. Do you want to do that, Martin? Can we get to? Oh, shit. You'll basically have to win two in a row. No. Are you just saying do all plus 100s? Oh, they'll only do the 200s. That might even be better for us. So you have to win five. Spurs ain't scoring 50, 60 points in the first half. Miller will probably get you 16. Bulls ain't scoring a buck 23. <laughs> yeah, they got Jeff Green playing center for him. You don't think Aiden's going to just go nuts on him? Here, let's get one of these going. No, we need we need player props, man. They're they're coming back with all this nonsense. I don't know. Has anybody tried one of these? Like um taking just like wild um totals like that. You know, minus one ninety two overs. Like I mean I, I guess you're buying points in basketball, which seems like a dumb idea. It definitely is a dumb idea, especially for a part. Yeah. This is how you boost it up right here. You get those big ass odds that everyone has. You like can have minus, like a minus 50s. 50. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll do that. Like the Hawks aren't going to score 23 points in the third quarter. Come on. And Aiden, like he's really going to get 37 and a half points and rebounds. <laughs> You just read me his box scores. He might. I know. I know. I I flip pretty quick. I'd do that. I mean, that seems dumb as hell, though. Wait till we wait till we get this parlay builder the way that you guys are gonna love it. Yeah, we all we need. I'm dead serious right now. All we need is to be able to just to um. Just ask it for player pro. Oh, here's one. There's no way that's losing. Oh my god. Except for the fact that Jalen Green is legitimately on fire. Yeah, that would worry me. But he's still got to hit four. Derek White, three- question. I mean, he's hit that in the last five games. Yeah, he's he been on crazy fire. 
guy is literally on fire. How about this, though? Could be a blowout, though. Never, you, you think I never used the parlay builder before? <laughs> <laughs> See you, Jalen. I think this is the one. Plus 395, none of these has a chance of losing. Which one loses, Nigel? Pick one. Uh, none of those. Think about it. I think we just, like, cracked the code. You think Capella has to play? That's the only one that I'm kind of, like, like, eh. Does this, this fact... Like, does they'll this run fa- him in there for, like, 20 minutes, dude. Does this factor in this is going to be correlated? They're going to dock you on the odds? Uh, yeah. No, this is literally from whatchamacallit. Oh, okay. I'm taking it, dude. All right. That's the parlay. I'm going to actually gonna clip that. I'll probably victory lap the shit out of it when it wins. Yeah, no, Joel, that's a great point. I mean, Jalen Green has, like... He was spraying the board because, I mean, he's got kids coming all over the place uh, soon, too. So he needs to definitely go ahead and grab a bag in that next contract because, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of like Wiseman boards, too. Did I add that to the bet tracker twice? I hope I did. All right, one more. Dude, I'll hit the button all day. I don't care. Ooh. Dude, how do these lose? Like, these are the easiest bets of all time. I don't like the Dante on Me neither. 21. He's been on fire. He dropped yeah, 30 on he, Saturday. Yeah, he kind of. I had his over 16. But this is the exact game where he doesn't do it. Actually, no, my, they take they bully people. DeRozan could go off. Oh, you want me to hit the best parlay? Got it. I'm on it. I'm on it, Jack off. Which one? I don't know what I said, Super Sit Rep. I would say it again for you, though, if I knew what I said. I don't like that. Watch this. Boom. <laughs> See you, DeJounte. I do. I would just make parlays all day with this. A lot of times what you should be doing is a lot of these on like the DFS sites, but the problem is they take away these markets once they hit these numbers, minus 140s everywhere. You know what I mean? So that's the only problem. But plus 407, I mean, for something that has no chance of losing like this, feels kind of feels kind of crazy. You want me to hit best parlay? I don't, I don't understand how it can be different, though, if I hit it this way. Schroeder over 17 and a half points and rebounds. That's hitting. Siakam's definitely hitting a three. Mark is getting a steal. Garland, I don't know if he's hitting three threes. Get rid of Darius. Now it's plus 410 for something that has no chance of losing. Also, too, I think you can switch the books. If you guys want to keep doing this, dude, it's free. Legitimately free for two weeks just, there's a link in the description promo code slop but you get the ev tool as well all right rockets over 57 and a half second half team total that's crazy get it out now you're at plus four twenty. how is josh hart not gonna have at least two turnovers luca's not getting 20 and a half rebounds and assist actually he probably is you want under two turnovers yeah, my bad. I want to get best parlay off of there. Though. Let's see. Dude, this is nuts. Neighbors are running by. Oh, Aiden's getting 20 and a half. We already talked about that. McBride's not getting two steals. That's crazy. Brandon's probably not going to play much. George over, ooh, over a half steal or a block. All right, that's going to be, we're we're going a little off 
off the rails there. But here, I'll hit this button one more time. I got to going. We're getting Mexico. I have to pick it up or I'll try to stay and hang out. Man, we hit all this shit. Anything on there you see that we didn't get yet? You haven't lived until you chase Grayson Allen around for four quarters, hoping he grabs some rebounds. I have his under that number. Yeah, that seems fun. I don't, I don't know if I'm into that. I'm more thinking about future me trying to, like, watch this stuff, and I, I don't know if I'm into chasing Grayson Allen around to see if he can grab four boards for me. That feels like something not great. Did we do Terrence Mann already? Oh, okay. Bet tracker one more time to show you what we got. We might not have that much out. Oh, we got 980. That ain't bad. Oh, and two parlays. We don't really have a dagger, which is good, except for these Cam Thomas rebounds. Do you know what I mean? Where like the the five hundred dollar play. Yeah. That's what I'm scared of, Jeff. Like, because you see what Phoenix does with Nurk, like they just won't play him sometimes. And what do we got for it? Here, here's what we got, real quick, guys. If you want to just take a screenshot of that or look at it or do whatever you gotta do. Um the screen. They're calling. Detroit against the Knicks. What are you talking about? Rebounds, Jeff? Yeah. Eight and a half. At that point, you just double double them. Plus 190 at FanDuel looks like the best price for a uh, James Wiseman double double. I feel like that could work. Guys are talking about the um, Dinger parlays, Nigel. Oh, yeah. I would wait, man, but... We're just going to sit here on the parlay builder once we get the market feature installed into it and just build like 10 of them every night. I was going to wait to bet baseball, and then I was like, yeah, you know I ain't waiting. Think about it. If we hit a home run parlay in the first month, we're good for the year. We're just playing with house money. Yeah. You know we'll keep doing it, too. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, that's going to do it, man. And nothing else is popping up unless you guys want to go eight and under 34 and a half PR or P points of rebound. There's been way We've too much. We've been under over on them. <laughs> yeah. Let Apparently, the books don't know how to price eight in tonight. That's just what that's yeah, there Yeah. That's, once they show up on the uh, EV screen, that's what it is. Well, especially when it's both sides. Super sit rep. You're 100% right. We just need a day dedicated to just building parlays because the parlay builder is legit. Like, that's – wait, it's just going to get better, too. We put, like, the smartest dudes on it, too. Like, when I went into the uh, Slack, the engineer channel, I made sure we got, like, the best guys. Like, they want to talk to me tomorrow, Nigel. Like, I have a meeting right mm -hmm. after uh, the all staff just to talk to them about what we want. So, if you want – you guys want – Put in the chat what you want from the parlay builder, and I'll, I'll tell the guys that. They'll do it, too. These guys can do anything. While we're at it, since we're just doing consumer research here, what would you guys think is a – you know, I'm just asking your honest opinion, a fair price if you just got the parlay builder. Just tell me. Just the builder. Just the builder. Knowing that the PEV tool is after the free trial – I think it's a couple hundred a month, which gets you like a bunch of tools. But this would just be the builder. What do you think would be a fair price for that? What would you pay? pay hundred bucks for that. I'd be always trying to like not pay a hundred bucks for it, though. You no, that's I mean? why I'm asking fair. Like, be reasonable. Don't come in here and tell me like three dollars because you know that's bullshit. No college. Choose Dan. I don't know what you're saying. I think he means there's no college. Get Jeff in there. Yeah, we should get Jeff in all the all staff meetings just to, just so like he can report back, make sure everybody knows. I like it, twenty nine dollars a month. Twenty nine ninety nine. Twenty nine ninety nine. You guys want to go 
over nine and a half for Terrence. I I can't do that. It feels like we should though, but I like really it just move. Yeah, that thing just went up. Now nah, you're just like, guys, we need help, man. We need, like, we need the parlay builder, like, just a couple things. We don't need a lot. Like, which a couple things get us going. But, man, you know? Yeah, me and Slop are running point on this thing. So – I want to get you guys a reasonable price. Obviously, we're a company. We got to make money, and we're giving you a tool that spits out money, bang, and parlays. Like, obviously, you know, we want value. The thing for is, it. it's yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. So, G Dub, dude, I love you. That's ex- that's the first thing that I said was like, we got to get a filter going on this thing so we can just build like the parlays we want to build. They're all plus EV. So technically, you're gonna hear your friends call you stupid for betting parlays, but every what if every leg is plus EV? Is it that dumb? Do you know what I mean? Like, what are we talking about? Yeah, Jack off. So that stuff would all be. We're gonna make changes to it, like Slop said. So there will be a slider for player props and games and all that crap once it's a finished product. Brian, you're right. That's what Nigel said. You have Nigel's brain. Yeah, because my you're thinking the was that the. Like, the, yeah, yeah, the fantasy page is just a parlay builder for DFS sites. It's kind of the same idea. <laughs> we wouldn't be doing this, Chris, if it was. Yeah, they won't do that. Throwing with the optimizer is not a bad idea. See, Rod, dude, I wish it was a nonprofit. This is valuable be- consumer research slop. This is actually good stuff. No, it is. I mean, I don't know. Like these are guys. They want to use it with us. You know what I mean? No, I appreciate you guys' feedback. Tops. That ain't bad, Super Sirrep. Nah, I don't think we'd tier it with un, like unlimited, limited. It would just be unlimited. Because they don't want to yeah. do that. We're not leasing cars here. Yeah, it's a valid point. This, um... Oh, that's a good. Did you see that from Qs? They can't be combined. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm writing that one down right now, yeah. like mentally. <laughs> no, hundred, hundred, uh, hundred percent alligator souffle. That's true, Bobby Big Wheels. We need, yeah, we need more strip club sponsors. That's a good call, Jeff. <laughs> Yeah, it makes yeah, that makes sense. Hookers and gambling go together. People like, love strip clubs, Nigel. No, and parlay. Yeah, it's usually the same guys that are going to strip clubs are parlay guys too. I don't know if it has any kind of connection or what, but I'm saying. All right, hey, real quick, Darius Garland over six and a half assists, minus one hundred five at ESPN. Bet I do that. I'm actually gonna try to do it right now. I bet you those guys come out and play tonight. They got embarrassed the other day. Yeah, it was yesterday. I mean, it was so bad. The coach was talking shit about them. They said they were tired, but their starters rested for the fourth quarter, I believe. What's it Sam supposed to do that for? Ah, oh, man. The thing with the – with the price of tools and stuff like this is if they work, then they're actually paying for themselves. Like the books pay for them, which is, you know what I'm saying? Like the, that's the goal. The books really pay for them. So that's the whole point. Yeah. yeah you want to, yeah. High reward, high reward, might hit a parlay or get lucky in the VIP room or <laughs> both. That's a valid point. We got to get more strippers in the videos. That's just, All right, that's going to do it. I, I'm looking. I got nothing. I got to get out of here. I literally got to go get Mexico. It's going to be a good night tonight. We have $5 burritos at Mexico on Mexico Monday, so I'm pretty fired up. We got like over $1,000 out just from the stream, so that's good. We got enough action. Um, I'll keep hitting the button. If I find something, I'll literally put it on Twitter, so there's there. 
Uh, so there's that. But I'll see you guys tomorrow, all right? Hope you guys had a great weekend. Take it easy, everybody.